I think I can be inspired pretty much anywhere I am at. A good story, a good story beginning, and a reason to keep exploring a character's situation is, is enough for me to be inspired. My name is Mary Casanova. I'm a children's author, and I'm in my own studio at my house in Rainier, Minnesota. The moment Violet stepped into the house, two dogs bounded close. Meow, his spat. I love when I can get the kids interacting with the story. So here, I use this ya yippity yappity yip yip yip, and the kids I know will say that aloud when I read it with them. The kids' book, even like this, it's not a lot of words, but it's, it's a character. There's a plot. There's conflict, there's um, a lot of strong verbs, good language, and then you get to an ending that has to have some universal ah, some reason it, that makes the reader, whether it's a parent or a child, feel like deep down this story was worth it, the payoff was there. Yeah, it's great fun. It's, it's, I always feel like I'm, I get a lot of Christmas in my life when these books arrive and I get to see them in various stages. I was in New York City, I go there about every two years to visit with editors, and I woke up at midnight with the words in my head, the day Dirk Yeller came to town, the wind curled its lip, cattle quit lowing, and tumbleweed stopped tumbling along. I wrote it down in the bathroom so I wouldn't wake my husband, put it on toilet paper. In the morning I looked at it and thought, you know, that's not bad, and I think I know where the story's going, wrote down a draft before I had a whole draft before my 10 o'clock meeting with an editor that morning and it really came as a gift. So to me, that, I mean, they don't all come that way. I'd do a picture book a day if it worked that way, but it doesn't. My process is um, more circular. I tend to go back to the last chapter and look at what I did, and it usually takes a number of rewrites before I feel like that's feeling fairly firmed up, and then I'll move on to the next chapter. Um, that's where a writer's group is nice, because our, my group meets every week or two weeks, and that gives me a built-in deadline. This is that journal entry that you heard earlier, but it starts on page 30, so you've learned more about this character, Gabby. We're having our uh, writer's group this morning at Kate Miller's house on Rainy Lake. So chapter five. He ran his finger over the leather cover, dry and brittle, and the faint etching of a horse and rider. It wasn't when well someone written, reads, we try to really point out all the good points of what they've written first, and then not point out the bad points, but as ask questions. I'll, be, I'll, I'll follow our rules and be quiet and just r write down any, any reactions you have, good or bad. I, uh, Thanks. I like how you've broken up all this information into, uh, at least, what, about four journal entries you read? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's changed since the last time I've read. Yeah, it was all it. one big mm -hmm. entry before and you guys suggested breaking it up, which I think helps. Yeah. Like the horse and rider carved in the cover. Was that there before? Uh -uh. That's new. I started in the children's field when I was 32 is when I really thought about it, and I am 54, so that's 22 years. And my 25th book just came out. 26th is in November. Um, not that anybody's counting, but it seems like a good way to spend the years as they go by. <laughs>